Yo, what is going on guys? LB Games here back with you for another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at uh you know the game bounty rush. So uh yeah, we definitely got some stuff here. Uh I haven't been making a lot of content in this game. Um there was what a new bounty fest that is dropped actually right now, uh the Pell and Vivi and Karu, but uh I meant to make a video, but I, at the at the same time I kind of felt like it wasn't as, as hype or hype enough to do, so I ended up just not doing it. Uh, but I did want to make a video on this. Uh, so yeah, we got a new character, a uh, new step up, uh, not a bounty fest, just a normal step up. We got oh, Robbie, um, or Robin, obviously from Wano. Uh, definitely very nice, uh, a nice addition. We're getting a lot of Wano stuff. Uh, she's a green runner. Okay, that's interesting. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna do what we normally do with these videos: uh, the kit, and then also the uh, you know one multi. <laughs> that's that, that's just something with us. Uh, 11,000 grit power, all right, yeah. Um, all right, so for her first skill, Mule Thor's Gigantos, Gigantesco Mondo, I can never say those. Um, all right, a mid-range area attack with the knockback effect, nullify stagger for a set period of time, acquire speed debuff effect at level five, all right. Um, interesting there, okay, skill attack, okay, knockback effect, all right. All right, interesting. Um, CN Floor's, Delphinium? Yeah, yeah, I, th I said that right. Alright. <laughs> a long range multiple hit area attack. Nullify stagger for a set period of time. Alright, so it's a, okay, multiple hits. Alright, that's cool. I like that. Uh, cooldown is 35. What is the cooldown on this? 28. Alright, interesting. Um, Alright, so I'm, I'm assuming there's two different hits here because of the picture right here. I'm assuming there's two different hits, two different hands at least. So it can hit in like two different directions. That's definitely interesting. Um, all right, let's look at our traits. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> all right, interesting. Uh, okay, spawns a clone when you capture treasure. The clone will disappear after it receives a certain amount of damage after a certain amount of time passes or after the attacks. Okay, interesting. Um, that actually seems pretty cool. I like that. Um, I like that. I, I mean, what? Doesn't... I mean, what, Onami can make a clone, right? Uh, Mirage, not clone. Well, I guess technically clone, but she can make a Mirage. That's definitely cool. Um, so she actually has a clone that can actually fight. That's actually interesting. Um, I guess that's why her art looks like that, right? Uh, what is it, like this? There's a clone right there. Okay, I was wondering why it looked like that. All right, check the next one. When an enemy is a certain distance away from the clone, the clone will attack with skill 1. The clone's attacks are unaffected by traits or cooldown time. So they can, are you telling me they can just spam? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> are you telling me that they can spam? Because if they're not affected by cooldown, okay. Well, that's actually interesting. Alright, so it has to be a certain distance. I don't. I, I wonder what the distance is. I don't know how you figure that out. I guess it's just by, over time by playing, right? Yeah. Um, Alright, next one. When the clone is in a treasure area, the treasure gauge will be restored. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that. You don't even have to be there. The clone just does. So, yeah, you can, like, what is it? Once you cap a flag, uh, you know, if you want to build up the gauge, you can uh, just, the you know, clone can sit there. I don't think you have, I, although I don't think you have free reign over the clone. So, if there's enemies near that, I'm assuming that clone will go attack them instead of sitting in the treasure area. Um, but, yeah. Uh, what else we got? Well, the clone is in the area around your capture treasure. The enemy will not be able to capture the treasure. So they, so basically, the clone counts as another, uh, counts as another person. Right. That's it's just the same as that, basically. Um, so that's definitely cool. I like that. Um, when your strength is more than seventy percent, reduce damage received by twenty. Pretty solid there. Uh, when attacking an enemy with skill one, increase damage dealt by thirty percent and increase knockback distance by fifty. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm assuming uh, the first move is does it like does it hit directly downwards or does it like slap it has knockback so when slapping it like slaps them back and it, has, it does have pretty good knockback I assume as well <sighs> all right I like that um all right straight two when you capture the treasure recover 15% HP and increase team boost gauge by 5% and then the next one, when your team has less treasure secured, boost the cooldown reduction speed of cool. Oh, okay. So, all right. So when you have less treasure, uh, this will go from 28 to what, 14 here. Uh, 14 seconds is not that bad. I say that's actually pretty good for a uh, cooldown. Uh, if you're under, uh, obviously lower. I I, I think I, I, really, I actually like the design here. Um, when your strength is more than 97% res resist stagger. Okay, that's cool. Um, I actually 
do like the design here because uh specifically uh one reason is because of uh i like this part obviously the clone i feel like uh it definitely works because she's a runner I i'm assuming that it's possible that you could have multiple clones because i don't see anything in here that says that uh uh multiple clones it uh like it, it has a like a stop or it stops at some point uh obviously it could i don't know if it's realistic you're gonna have multiple clones at once because i feel like the clone's probably gonna i don't know how, the, how much time the clone can stay up uh so obviously by the time you get to the ne next flag depending on the map you're playing i don't know if it's gonna be realistic to have multiple clones at at once but i, I still like the ability nonetheless it seems kind of cool especially that sees a runner as well um maybe you'll maybe there's a chance you'll get be able to get to another flag before uh you know uh the clone disappears although you know I, like i said I, you have to see the time i i I, don't, I won't know the time i wouldn't know so uh that was pretty much her kit she definitely seems pretty good i actually like her i like her design i do like that and obviously she's just on a step up she's not a bounty fest uh so you're gonna be able to pull her like pretty much ev everywhere so uh over time it's, it's i mean if you guys pull her i mean i definitely think it's she'll be pretty good i i actually would like to pull her because i need some green i feel like i need some green uh units uh, i i haven't been focusing on green units lately with like uh uh all my uh items and resources i've been focusing on my like uh my lofi and my god uh so on onigashima actually he's a green unit. <laughs> i guess onigashima i've been focusing a little bit on so yeah let's do one multi here uh 11 pull obviously uh you know, just what this is what we always do, you know, on the Elmy Game channel. We always be doing this. Alright, let's see what we get. So we oh we got some treasure. Okay, okay. Can we get the gold flag? Okay, right, just the black flag. But we got the treasure. We got the treasure. Interesting. Alright, uh let's see what we can get here, honestly. Okay, I'm pull up. Alright, we got the gold text, the uh the shiny text. Alright, just an attacker there. Alright, a runner here, it's buggy, okay, defender. Uh, this guy. <laughs> um, okay. Nothing there. Two runners. Again, okay. I'm, de I'm definitely, uh, over time, I'm definitely, like, trying to get, uh, uh, cola from these summons, so that's definitely nice, uh, getting cola. Alright. We gonna get anything? Oh, we did, okay. I, 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 I clicked too fast, alright. Uh, alright, so it wasn't, uh, it didn't show, it was kind of like a fake, I didn't show a uh, snake man. Alright, so that raw Gucci, I think now, where is he at? Hold on, let me go check that. Uh, that green raw Gucci. Might be at 85, or is he, I think he's 85 or 90, one of the two. Um, where is he? Right here. I don't have, a, I haven't done it. 85, alright. So yeah, okay, that's interesting, I like that. So, I uh, got a unit to 85, we did get a 4 star, so we'll definitely take it. Um, now, obviously, uh, with the 2.5 anniversary coming soon, I don't advise any of you guys summon on this banner, nor do I advise summoning on this banner. I actually haven't checked these guys' kits. I'll have to check them later. I don't know if they're that great or not. Um, you guys can let me know if they're that great or not. I don't know. Um, Hell and BV and Karu. So, uh, we'll see. But yeah, that was Robin. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys leave a like subscribe for the bounty rush content if you guys like bounty rush um 2.5 and he's coming soon i'm gonna need to somehow get some rainbow diamonds we'll see it i haven't been playing the game as much recently just because of all the other gotch games i've been playing but you know still in the ground bounty rush as well so yeah i'll see you guys next time and yeah peace